So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts by saying Shahr Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an. Shahr Ramadan, the month of Ramadan is the month in which Qur'an was sent down. That is the significance of this month. And in this month, the most important day in which Qur'an was actually sent down is which day? Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr. Right? So because of this day, this month became special. Okay? And in this month, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked us to fast. Now I have talked about this, what I'm about to repeat right now a few times, but it is important for me to repeat this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to fast, so the result of fasting is what? Taqwa. And Allah says in the very beginning of Quran in other places, what? ذلك الكتاب, this is the book, لا ريب فيه, in which there's no doubt, هدال لل متقين. So to get guidance from Quran, you need what? The currency is you need taqwa. Without taqwa, you can't get guidance from Quran. And so, Allah is giving you taqwa in the daytime, okay? And then at nighttime, you're standing up with Qur'an. So that the guidance of Qur'an is now benefiting you. So in the daytime, you're fasting, you're, you're having self-control, you're controlling yourself, you're trying to be a better human being, you're trying to be better than you normally are. And then at nighttime, after this attitude, now when you're listening to Qur'an, now the Qur'an is benefiting you, it's opening your heart, it's entering into your heart, in a, in, a, in a stronger absorption, in a stronger level, you can say. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, شَهْرُ رَمَضَانِ أَلَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنِ هُدًا لِلنَّاسِ It is guidance for all mankind. Guidance for everyone. In this Qur'an is guidance for everyone. What guidance means? Means what? At every level of your life, individually or collectively, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps you make the right decision. This is what guidance. Guidance is like this darkness you can't see. Actually, huda actually means light. That's one of the meanings of the word huda. Uh, so, you know, Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, when he saw the fire, he said, oh, let me go there and find some light. The word he used is huda. Huda means light. If there's darkness, you don't know where to go. What is the right thing to do? What is the wrong thing to, wrong thing to do? So guidance is to help you make the right decisions in life so that you will be لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ So you will be successful. You make the right decisions, you become successful. Right? And over here is another important thing that I'll share with you quickly if we have, uh, hopefully we have time. Uh, and that is that uh, in, 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 in philosophy, well, okay, we won't go to philosophy, but we are, you know what's very interesting, I'll share this with you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in one of the verses in which He talks about spirituality, you all heard this verse, they're deaf, they're dumb, they're blind, and they will not return. Right? You all heard this? What does it mean? You see, on the one hand, a man, a human being, a human being is completely in the field of sensation. His senses. What I see, what I fear, what I feel, what I hear, what I taste. This is, this is man, one side. But Allah is using those very, because that's the materialistic aspect of, of human being. His sensational field, his field of what he senses. This is his materialistic side. But Allah uses that very same thing that is the field of his sensation by which he sees, by which he hears, right? By that very field of his sensation, Allah uses it to talk about his spiritual aspect. Because behind these eyes is nur, is light, which shows you something more beyond than sensation. It asks, it makes you ask, what is the, why am I human, why am I here? Is there right? Is there wrong? Is there morality? Is there God? Is there life after death? These, the, this is the light. The answer to these questions is your light that helps you go on the straight path. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Shahr Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an The month of Ramadan is the month in which Allah has revealed the Qur'an. Shahr Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an Hudan lin nas it is guidance for all mankind. Whether we have economic problems, we have social problems, we have marital problems, we have uh, problems with our kids, the guidance is in this book. This is the book, you know we have so many, the second largest section of the bookstore that sells books is the help section. Right? You've seen these help section and people read them and they're like so, so admiring these books and look up to these books and, the, and they're great books. Each one of those self-help books is like one ayah, a tafsir of one ayah of Qur'an. This self-help book is just basically an explanation of this verse of the Qur'an. 
And that other self, you know the seven habits of these highly successful people? That's basically, you can say, ma'khuz min al-Qur'an. It's taken, ideas taken from Qur'an. Because Qur'an came first. In that sense. Not that he actually went to Qur'an. In the same way for other help. help uh, so this is the book that is the book of your guidance. Okay? Shah Ramadan, alladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an, hudan linnas, wa bayinati min al-huda wal furqan. And it has bayinat. Bayinat is what? There are two things. Very important to understand. Actually, three things. Three things. Al-Huda, Bayinati min al-Huda, and Al-Furqan. Al-Huda is practical guidance. What to do? You know, there's, there is another word Qur'an uses for theory. What we call, you're enlightened, internally enlightened. And the word for that in Qur'an is nur. You say enlightened, you know, somebody becomes enlightened. Right? Allah waliyu ladhina amanu yukhriju min al-zulumati ilan. Nur. Allah is the wali of the believers. He takes them out of darknesses of what? Of the mind, of the heart. This is an internal process. The internal process of going from darkness to light. And this is always continuing. You're going to more light and more light and more light and more light. So more veils are being lifted in that sense. Allah waliyu ladhina amanu yukhriju min al-zulumati ilan nur. So this is the word. But al-huda is practical guidance. Where should I go? Like a map, like a GPS. This is what you need to do. So uh, Quran is al-huda, guidance. Then bayinat is the proof that this is guidance. What is the proof that this is guidance? Quran is saying, look at the stars. Look at my creation. Look at the mountains. Look at what I have created around you. Look at my ayat. Look at my Quran. Look at the, the eloquence of the language of Quran. These are known as bayinat. Bayinat means proof. Right? The word uh, sometimes used in Quran is mubin, proof, self-sufficient, self-sufficient proof. You don't need further. Proof. You need proof. Bayinati min al-huda and the proofs that this is guidance. The proof that this Quran is the guidance is in the Quran. When you read Quran, then Allah will talk about His creation. Allah will talk about the history and the nations before you and the events that will come before you. And Allah is talking about that. This is all proof that this is what. So in this month, through the Qur'an you get guidance, where to go. Through this uh, Qur'an, in this month you get proof, oh this is Qur'an, yes, this is Qur'an. Like for example, Do they have the, the people who reject the truth, do they not see that the heaven and the earth was one and then we blew it up after that? Known as the Big Bang Theory for example. So the, you know, people according to their mentality, they will all receive their own bayanat. شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان. What is فرقان? This is very interesting. فرقة means to divide. That internal light, when that light divides between what is right and wrong, that light that enters your heart. When that light enters into your heart, you're able to see what is right and what is. The fatwas of the muftis don't affect you. You know this fatwa is, it's bought. There's something in the light of the mu'min's heart that he's able to distinguish between what is haqq and batil. This is what furqan is. Furqan is the ability to see what is true and what is not true. What is haqq and what is batil. So if you want this inner, inner ability to see, then also Quran is, so Quran has the practical guidance. Quran has the proofs that this is the Quran. This is the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Quran then also gives you the internal nur but the application of that nur because so bismillah rahman rahim inshallah 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 this ramadan inshallah i plan to do a small commentary of the whole quran i want us all of us myself included to focus on quran and focus on quran and focus on quran and to absorb the message and the wisdom of quran inshallah into ourselves and to i will be inshallah ta'ala so what I will be doing is doing one juz a day. I'm going to start Sunday, regardless of when Ramadan starts. I'm going to start Sunday night, or Sunday, Sunday, basically. I'll send out, basically, I will try to do it. I'll try to have it done right after Fajr, inshallah ta'ala. I'll start every day, if Allah wills. And after Fajr, I'll, in, in the U.S. Eastern time, okay? And I'll have it uploaded as soon as possible. Uh, soon after that inshallah ta'ala and so i'm going to do all 30 juz and this is what we're going to do so you have an understanding of what i have planned so i'm going to be using this text if allah wills 
it's large enough large enough for me to read because I sometimes have a problem reading because I have dyslexia and that makes my reading sometimes I don't know if any of you have noticed sometimes for me to say certain words becomes difficult even the simplest words sometimes become difficult so if Allah wills then I'll use this text inshallah ta'ala this text will make it easy for me and then with along that the other thing I want to do is I want to talk about the topics as they're as we are moving along. So, for example, the uh, Surah Al-Fatiha is the cry or song of salvation. That Allah, you know, please guide us to the straight path. Please, 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 please guide us to the straight path. And then Surah Al-Baqarah, like ayahs one through five, are the essential requisites of belief or faith. And uh, this way, I will be talking about the different topics as they are occurring in the Quran. Okay. And this way you'll be able to see, and I'll be talking about this as, you know, if there's a certain rhythm, and then the rhythm changes, the rhythm changes to show you this is a new paragraph, a new topic. But every new topic is still connected to the topic before it. Even though we won't be focusing on that aspect that much, but we will be looking at the overall flow of Qur'an. What is the message of Qur'an? How does it interconnect with one another? How does Surah Al-Baqarah connect with Surah Al-Imran? We'll be looking at how these, how the... You know, the wisdom of looking at how there is Makki Surahs, then Madani Surahs, then Madani Surahs, then Makki Surahs, then Makki Surahs, then Madani Surahs. And, you know, what is the purpose of them beginning with Makki and then Madani and then Madani and Makki and these seven groups that are in Quran? Uh, what, are the, what are the essential topics within these? And uh, why this has been done, this arrangement of Quran, why is it this way? So we will be, inshallah ta'ala, looking at that. Uh, those of you that want to benefit can go with me. Otherwise, I, inshallah ta'ala, by doing this exercise will be benefiting for myself, inshallah ta'ala. If Allah allows me to do this, pray for me that Allah allows me to do this. I have the intention, inshallah, to do this. And uh, I hope that uh, this will, inshallah ta'ala, if Allah wills, in the English language, will benefit a lot, a lot of people. And so uh, I want to do a fast translation. And so I'm thinking, you know... Um, with the fast fast translation uh, and a fast commentary uh, of the Quran, inshallah ta'ala, uh, that, you know, anyone can listen to, basically. I will try to finish a juz within an hour and a half to maybe two hours uh, each day. So it'll be a long, uh, a long uh, you know, two hour for each juz. But then at the end of that juz, you'll be able to actually understand what was the message, what was the message of Quran as the message of Quran. So I may point out to other things like linguistical things. I may point out to some aspects of science. I may point out also to many aspects of social sciences. Uh, but essentially we are going to focus on the connection between the ayat and the message of Quran. What is the message of this book? And we're going to try to absorb that into ourselves. So inshallah pray for me that I'm able to do this and Allah allows me to do this. And if Allah allows me to do this, then Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. And, uh, you know, so I'll leave it at that, inshallah. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Make sure to subscribe today and make sure you like and make sure you leave your comments and ideas. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa أشهد أن لا إله إلا